AI will increasingly replace repetitive jobs, not just for blue collar work, but a lot of white collar work. What sort of jobs would be lost to AI? Basically chauffeurs, truck drivers, uh, anyone who does driving for a living, uh, their jobs will be disrupted more in the 15 to 20 year uh, time frame. And many jobs that seem a little bit complex, uh, chef, uh, waiter, uh, a lot of things will become automated. We'll have automated stores. Uh, you gotta think about who is this gonna affect. This is gonna affect the majority of Americans, right? This is gonna take away a lot of jobs from people because to be honest with you, there's no jobs out there. So a lot of people just getting started, the younger people getting started um, into the workforce, a lot of them don't have a whole lot of skills, so they get in these repetitive jobs, which is not a bad for a starter job. The problem is, it's not going to be no starter jobs. And then, on the other side of that, the, these young men and women are not being educated to fill in the new jobs that's going to be in the future, like more of tech repair, um, assembly. I'm not even going to say assembly, because even if you think about assembly, a lot of that assembly line work, when it comes to AI, it's like the cars is built by machinery. So what's going to be left for the people? Um, nothing. When you really think about it, AI doesn't have the human element. What do I mean by the human element? It don't call out late. It doesn't get pregnant. It doesn't drink the night before. It, it don't need vacation. It don't need PTO. It don't need sick time. So all you're going to have is the guys who maintain the AI. So that's going to be the new job market. But coming into it, as as we transcend into uh, this AI taking over these repetitive jobs, I mean, and not just repetitive jobs. Like if you even look in the military, there's an AI element of the military where they got robot dogs and all that stuff. Uh, and they're trying to build super soldiers as well. Um, you think about aviation with drones, um, you're going to phase a lot of pilots out because one of the big uh, risk factors is losing life. So that right now they got escort drones and stuff like that, that, that are, um, that's sixth generation actually, that act as wingmen with our fifth generator fighters, excuse me, generation fighters. So like you got to watch what's happening because slowly but surely humans are getting phased out of a lot of stuff. Um, and companies are breaking in <laughs> high profits. Even though to the two years though, Bernie Sanders even suggested that we go to a four day week that people work 32 hours a week and still get paid for the 40. Because you're having a big cause inflation and companies are profit where people are borderline poverty, middle class getting wiped away. Companies making all this money and, and it's not trickling down. And you couple that with inflation you just widening the gap. Now you're going to have this. It's going to be the job killer. You know how many people got their CDLs and stuff like that? It's not to say that it's going to take all the jobs away, but it's going to be enough. People are going to be affected. So that's that's a person who's not putting their kid in college, which is a debt anyway, but still, as somebody not getting educated, as somebody not buying a house, the trickle down effect, right? So we really got to um, Think about, we got to play this like fucking chess, not checkers. You got to think about why you need to start investing your money into these chip companies because all this AI going to be ran on chips. Um, You're going to, um, just the company, starter companies, anybody, all the parts, the, the arms, the legs, the gears, the wires, the copper, all the stuff that's going to go into this AI, your best bet is to jump in it now while you still stand a chance to get the stocks while they fairly affordable because the more, we start to phase in the AI, the higher the stock's going to be, you know, so you really need to think about that. And also when it comes to just preparing for jobs, you got to really think about like what, I mean, pausing on to school, you know, like doctor, lawyer, blah, all that stuff. No, you need to think about the average person with the average person that's going to lose his job, what he need to train for. And I would say maintenance, stuff like that. So it's just, we are, I, I mean, I get the human element of it, that's that's troubling to employees and not even just like warehouse work but just regular construction just like you know you, you sign a contract you try to get a job done with men and you got to factor in the fact that you not can't even rely on the guys and girls you know, look at them they just watching um 
these bots trained to take over their job. And that's what it's going to be like. It's going to have one human there, just like how Walmart is with self-checkout. Just if the, the light go off, they come and scan it and reset it, whatever, and let you finish doing what you're doing. That's going to be the wave of the future. So it's going to eliminate a lot of people. Think about when you go into Walmart, all the empty uh, aisles where cashiers should be. And it's all self-checkout and one person watching in case there's a hiccup or something. That's what's going to happen with a lot of the jobs. You know, you got, like I said, the human element of it is the lazy factor, just the the, the non-reliable factor. Because one big thing you had in the day society, if you was reliable, like if you would show up, you know, that, that was just a lot. You know what I mean? Now it's not even about you showing up. The robots are not going to be, they're going to they be there already. So they don't, they don't get tired. Look, that word, look how, look how he's outworking that man. Yeah, it's the future. This is the future. I mean, it's, it's now. It's now. This is now. Yeah. You got to think about everything else when it comes to AI as well, like even with chat GBT. And like, think about how much information that AI is learning about us by the by the things we search and by the things that we exit, by the by the algorithms, how it pits all this information together to form some type of bionic <laughs> opinion about human beings. And I think that's one of the biggest fears if AI start thinking about what's best for everything, you know, based on what they know about us and what they know about us is going to be based on all the things we exit, all the things that it sees. Think about everything, the cameras. Just think about how our lives has changed in the last 25, 30 years. Remember, everybody didn't even used to have a cell phone. Now, your cell phone is your life. You could be having a conversation about guns, and the next thing you know, you open up Facebook, and you got gun ads. When you downloading all these apps, and you just click and accept, 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 you welcome them. AI into your home and they sell your information. So, like, you really gotta think about it. Um, I think the key thing is, is I I don't think you should be afraid or we should be afraid. But if you got young kids coming up, young teenagers, you need to really like point them in the right direction because a lot of the jobs is not going to be there. They're not. But you gotta think about they, these robots at this time. They really can't build themselves. They're gonna need somebody to run diagnostics and do maintenance. Um build the technology itself, come up with the ideas. So I wouldn't be afraid of it. I would embrace it. But unfortunately, when you look at, you know, where the kids at today for us, education, especially in a lot of impoverished, um, excuse me, impoverished communities where, you know, you got young men reading at a fourth, fifth grade level, and they just pushing these kids through. Um, So like, they're going to be affected the most. So you really need to think about it. Gear up. Put your thinking caps on. That's what they used to say. And um, get with it, man. Or get ran over because it's here. And um, just don't just don't look at the storm coming, and the clip the uh the sky getting dark. And 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 be surprised when it start raining. So that's my thoughts on AI.